Hello, in this video I'm going to be running some tests on my Basimo 300 watt portable solar panel. I'm testing the solar panel indoors near a window and I have some shade bars like this one here and this one here right now. They keep moving. I don't think these shade bars are making any difference to the test because I tried taking the whole panel outdoors and I was getting the same result. I wanted to test the USB ports on my solar panel and my solar panels are getting a little shade shown there. But I don't think that's making a difference to this test. Okay, so first of all, I'm measuring the voltage on the DC port is 28.5. That's normal. Okay, now this lighted USB cable is plugged into the solar panel and that's working normally. And this mini vacuum cleaner that I got from the Dollar Tree is plugged into the other port on the solar panel and it works normally. Then when I plug in this light, it doesn't light up at all. From, and this was, you know, off the solar panel. Now you can see a little flash here, but the, the cable doesn't even light up normally when it's plugged in, but it still kind of flashes and changes color. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Now when I plug this into the grid, and then turn on, and that, that works normal. Okay, that's when it's plugged into the, the grid here. So my problem is it doesn't seem to run this higher power device, and it seems like it should be able to run that. I have the cable plugged into the XT60 port of the solar panel and I'm reading the voltage across the MC4 connectors, I'm getting 28.4 volts. Okay, what I want to do is to read the short circuit amps of the solar panel. So I'm going to remove this red lead, and then I'm going to remove the red and plug it into the 20 amp then I'm going to move this to the DC 20 amp then I'm going to connect the red lead to measure the short circuit voltage here okay it seems to not be reading anything and now I'm going to remove the red lead, plug it back into the voltage, then turn this back to DC 200, and then read the voltage. So it's reading 28.4. So I don't seem to be able to get a reading of the short circuit amps of the solar panel, and I don't know why. Now I'm testing the panel outside where there's no shading. Okay, so I've got the XT60 connector connected and I'm reading the voltage. I'm getting 28 volts. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect the red lead and pull the red lead out, put it into the 20 amp, and turn this to the 20 amp DC. Now I'm going to read the short circuit amps. Okay, it doesn't read anything. Now I'm going to pull this out and put it back in the vault. Turn this back to 200 on the DC volts and read this. I'm getting 29.2. Okay, so I'm not able to read the DC amps short circuit. I don't know why. 
it almost looks like it starts to read something and then it goes to zero. I'm not sure what's going on. So in conclusion, the first test I did on my Massimo 300 watt solar panel was to plug in this lighted USB cable and that worked normally. So I thought everything was working okay. And then next I tested this uh, mini vacuum cleaner that I got from the Dollar Tree and that works normally. And I checked online and one LED should use about 0.1 watts. Then next I tried to test this um, 28 LED selfie light that I got from the Dollar Tree. And uh, that should probably use about 2.8 watts with 28 LEDs. And it's on right now. So just to show that it does work when it's plugged in to the, the grid power. Anyway, this wouldn't come on at all. So then after that, I was thinking, okay, I'll try to measure the short circuit current. So I plugged in the um, XT60 cable and I measured the current from the plus and minus MC4 connectors. And when I initially connected, it seems like there's a small spark and then it just reads zero. So as far as I know, I should be able to read a um, short circuit current, but I'm not being able to read anything. I don't have a solar system where I can plug this into a known working solar system and see if it's producing any watts into a battery. So I can't do that kind of a test right now. So um, I'm going to try to contact the manufacturer and if they don't have any ideas what's going on, then I'm going to try to take it back. I bought it at Walmart. Um, this isn't being sold by Walmart. It's another vendor selling on Walmart. But um, I read online that you can normally take things back to the uh, Walmart store, even if you bought it from uh, another vendor selling on Walmart. So hopefully I can take it back to Walmart if I need to take this back. And um, if anybody out there has any ideas um, on how I tested it and what might be going on, um, you know, let me know in the comments.